Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Tales of Asperia Part 43. In the previous video we... Uh, I don't know, it's been a little bit since I recorded anything. I know we're in this place. I'm pretty sure we were just here because we were like... Killing Tom at the end of the video? What do we do? Did we do all that stuff? Oh yeah, Stella ran away from the party. For real this time. They, someone actually left the party. Oh my god. After 11,000 fakeouts, somebody left the party for real. Which is part of the reason why I don't think they should have done 11,000 fakeouts, because I think it would have had more impact if it was like, oh man, somebody's actually like straight up gone. Where are we going though? Because we were, we were in the flying jellyfish. Estelle and Raven left, and then they went to, I don't know, and I don't know if we're supposed to know, or if we're supposed to be lost and just fly around. I really don't remember. I Now I'm kind of wishing I'd refresh my memory. Before we started... I think she went back to the capital. Wait, oh. Every time it does that fade in, I think it's like a cutscene. I mean, I guess we can go through a walk through the capital, regardless. Prices went up again recently? I, I, yeah, brother. The Flynn Defense Force. Okay, I'm actually going to have to check. I don't, I don't know what to do. One second, let's just, uh, probably shouldn't do this on camera, but you know what? Sure, we'll, we'll do it. Okay, what, what the hell happened in this video? I don't, I don't know where to go. Oh yeah, we're going to the Sands of Korgoth. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks game. We were in like a like a bit of a crisis mode there for a second, man. Being able to uh, <laughs> have all your footage recorded is helpful. It reminds me of a story I have about playing several several years ago, probably close to ten years ago at this point. I was you know playing a lot of older JRPGs, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna play all the you know all the old, probably around this time when I first played you know maybe six hours of the first Tales game. I think it's is it Fantasia. Because that's like, that was prior to this really my only experience, that and like the six or so hours I played of Zestria. You know, that was probably like six, seven years ago. But, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to play a bunch of old school JRPGs. Maybe like soon after I learned what the hell an emulator was, right? And I played through Dragon Quest. Because I'd played eight as a kid and really liked it. And I was like, I'll play through them all like in order. Because I'd done the, something similar with Final Fantasy. Where I played through the games like in, you know, release order. And I played through Dragon Quest 1. And it's like, you know, decent. It's a it's a piece of history. And then I got through Dragon Quest 2. And I made it probably most of the way through the game. And I remember sailing around on the boat. And like, I didn't really know where I was supposed to go. And I stopped for the day. I was like, I'm just going to make a save state. We'll, we'll, we'll pause here. And then I remember coming back like three days later. And just loaded in the save state, and it was just a boat on a on a just a blue screen, because the ocean is like huge in that game too. And I was just like, I don't know where I'm supposed to fucking go. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. And I said, you know what? That's something for a later date. We'll play something else. And then I've never returned. I don't really know where I'm going. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go to Yormgen. I do remember that now. Where, where the hell is Yormgen? I know it's to the north. But yeah, Dragon Quest Two, it's still waiting for me to to come back to the Sea of Blue. I don't think I could ever like play a game like that anymore. I don't think I can do games with random battles anymore. What's happening? Like I think I'm too old for them. Like they they just infuriate me too much. What's going on? It's just a pile of ruins. 
realistically, I think what what was the final straw that broke random battles for me? It was it was Star Ocean Two, man. It was fucking Star Ocean Two. I just remember the encounter rate in that game was fucking insane, and apparently. Like, the skill that was supposed to reduce the encounter rate was actually bugged. And instead of reducing, it increased. So I played the whole game thinking I was lowering the encounter rate. And actually it was increasing or something. Along those lines, I don't remember. This didn't just happen in a few days. This is like hundreds of years. I just remember getting some sort of comment about that. Like, you know, a year after I finished the game. I was like, actually, blah, blah, blah. The skill is your... Made me want to punch a mongoose maybe there was a huge fire that hmm no not a chance of that happening huh quiet someone's here duke this could be our clue about the rizomato formula so we did actually time travel earlier it wasn't just that these guys were lost to time like that they were thinking it was a certain year I don't know if maybe they were like in a, like a time stasis bubble or something where like time didn't pass. But I don't know. So it's like, because it's... I can't remember if it was that thing or Pharaoh that picked us up when we were kidnapped and took us to the past. Which doesn't really make any sense considering you can like come back to Jormgen. But I guess the dialogue doesn't actually advance there. Which is like maybe your, your hint that it's different. That's... The dragon from the Weezen of Kados. Okay, it is that thing. He's traveling with Duke, huh? But I guess he's got some sort of time powers. And also, that's like, I'll accept that as a dragon. I've got questions for that guy, but we have to find Estelle first. It's more of a wyvern, but, you know, wyverns are almost dragons, kind of. They got away. <laughs> I'm here, too. <laughs> what up? <laughs> it's me. There's no time. This isn't what I would have chosen, but so be it. Alexei, what are you doing here? Ah, looking for the princess? I'm impressed you found your way here. Yeah, I don't know why we know we're supposed to be here, but yeah. Why did we decide to come back to Jormgen? I don't know. I just looked through the video and just scrolled through it until I saw the word Jormgen pop up in dialogue. Or it's Wiza Nikados, or Sansa Korgoth, whatever. Do you know where Estelle is? What do you think you're doing? I don't have a memory. Granted, it has been like five days, so. Or three. Several days. <clears throat> Four days. Is this your idea of a joke, Commandant? I am at a loss as to how to thank you. Your pitiful sense of justice has allowed me to work with little interruption. Long ago, there was the pirate Eifried, and now we have the likes of Barbos and Rago. They were each of use in their own fashion, but you have performed magnificent work, far surpassing theirs. You're some of the most talented and foolish performers I've seen. What? Are you telling me the Empire's full of evil dudes? However, the time for fooling around is over, it is time for you to exit the stage. So that's it, huh? It was you pulling everybody's strings all this time. Well, I'm not laughing, Alexei. I mean, like, whatever. Commandant! Some dude who was only on screen for four seconds is evil? I'm not really, like, blown away. <laughs> and yet another fool arrives. Flynn! Commandant! How could you? Why are you guys here? Why are we here? You're the pride of the Imperial Knights. How could you commit treason? This is not treason. I am merely following the path of one who holds true authority. And you just intend to betray the trust of His Highness Yoder? His Highness? Yes. I think he'll be relinquishing his rank soon. This is madness. My lord, all is in readiness. It's just the whole gang has been sitting in the damn sand while I was gallivanting around? Jaeger! Well done. I am headed for Bactian as planned. I will leave this situation to you. Hey, Flynn, where the fuck is Bactian? And Yoder's fate as well. Yeah, you bet, my lord. 
Alexei, wait. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> like we just we just walk into the damn desert and then some dude pops up and he's like, "Ha ha, it was me. It was me all along. <laughs> I'm the bad guy." Who said you could leave? Stand back. If you try to stop us, get the hell out of the way. Your princess friend is at the shrine of Bactian as well, you know. I don't know where the hell that is. What did you say? I mean, presumably it's one of those two locations that we tried to go to and they wouldn't let me do it yet. You'll be too late if you don't hurry. Are those two ever going to do anything ever? Go after Alexei and Jaeger. Sir! Alexei! You won't get away with this! Yuri, come on! Yuri? Yuri Lowell, give yourself up! What the fuck are you talking about? We didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the murders. Yeah, the, the murders. It's like, this lady's really like, oh, now's the time. It was just revealed that our commanding officer is, like, evil. Hypionia, the continent east of Desier. The Egathor Forest is there. Yeah. Are we actually going to trust what Jaeger said? Yeah, sure, why not? If that's where Alexei is headed, then Estelle's got to be there. We don't have much information, so I guess we'll just have to go check it out. Aye, we can't just sit here and ignore that guy. Nobody thinks it weird that the whole town is covered in sand. No one. Like, I feel like that was a big enough revelation that it's like, we, yo, our ass time traveled. And they're like, nah, that shit's not important. What's the matter, Patty? Actually, come to think of it, didn't he say something about Eifried? That man is the cause of it all. If we take him out, we can get Estelle back. I mean, maybe. But what about Raven? I'll bet he delivered Estelle to them and then just took off. No, Raven, he wouldn't do that. Maybe. Well, the facts are that she's been kidnapped and he's nowhere to be seen. I mean, that's only logical, right? Well, we don't know if she's been kidnapped. Because, I mean, in theory, she had to have willingly activated the thing to leave in the first place. It's possible he was captured as well. Well, whatever. Let's get going. Yuri? Now she could have been misled and then kidnapped later, but... Yuri. Flynn. A word? Very well. Let's talk over there. Parted with everyone. Okay. What the hell is this section of the game? <laughs> I don't know. I'm enjoy It's enjoyable. Like, it's entertaining. I'm having fun. But there is an element of, like, wh where they slightly high during this just what the hell are you doing what happened to advancing as a knight and fixing the empire from within you've been nothing more than a damn puppet on Alexei's string don't you dare tell me that the dawn and bellius died for nothing more than that he was there working alongside you this whole time flynn how could you possibly not know i'm sorry why, though? Did you go along with it because Yoder trusted Alexei? His Highness is not to blame. I had total confidence in Alexei. The responsibility is mine. So your pursuit of the Abathea at Nordopolica was on Alexei's orders, I presume? Yeah. You'd better start talking. Tell me what happened. There's no reason to worry about exposing the Commandant now. The conversion of Heliord into a military installation. The abuse of the residents at Mantek. All of Cumor's activities. The forbidden development of Nublastia. All of these were carried out under the Commandant's... under Alexei's orders. And you you knew all that? You didn't, like, say, yo, this shit's kind of crazy. I mean, one thing, like, if you were just completely... Because I was thinking yours maybe a little harsh, but... If he actually knew that the Commandant was doing evil shit, like, particularly the, the man-take stuff. 
It was like, oh, I'm just bebopping along. Well, you've grown up to be a model knight. Unquestioned allegiance to your country. That's nice. Because, you know, I mean, if it was just that, well, I didn't think my commanding officer was evil. I had no reason to believe so. Then, yeah, that's kind of understandable, but... The Commandant, Alexei, was not always this way. So? You of all people should remember. Those who are just will lead lives of prosperity. That was the ideal Alexei once held dear. You know, murderers haven't murdered anybody until they murdered someone. It doesn't really matter what they did in the past. All that matters is that the dude's evil now. That was why I... But all it's done for you is help you lose sight of your original intentions. <clears throat> Not that I have much right to preach to you, after I let them run off with Estelle like that. No, that never would have happened if I hadn't been blind to Alexei's true nature. I had grown far too used to simply obeying orders like a good knight, even when I doubted them. It was my lack of thought that brought this about. Well, to be fair, even if you knew the dude was evil, what, what would you do? Since when is moaning and whining part of a knight's job description? You impudent! No. It is as she says. I must shoulder this responsibility. It is up to me to rescue Lady Esteles. Whoa, what? Captain, what should be done about His Highness? If anything were to happen to him, the Empire... I know. That's why this brigade is concentrating all our efforts on ensuring his safety. But Captain... Please. Hmm. Damn it, Flynn. I didn't yell at you to have you turn around and start telling me what to do. Brave Vesperia is going to rescue Estelle. Yeah, but you see Estelle's out of the party, so you wouldn't have anybody who can cast heal, so... Then let me join you. Let me be a member of Brave Vesperia. Yeah, sure. Captain? A knight joining a guild? Don't make me laugh. Who cares? It's all made up. I was unable to prevent the Royal Guard from abducting Her Highness. I am duty-bound to correct this wrong by saving her. Give it up. You know you have no place in a guild. But if you want to come with us, I won't stop you. Yuri! But you know what you have to do, right? As soon as we've rescued Her Highness, I will return to protect Prince Yoder. I cannot allow the Empire to be thrown into disorder. And you're not really joining the guild if you're just joining for like four seconds. I mean, you can come with I'm us. sorry, Sodia, Witcher. I must ask you to take care of the prince. But, you know, I don't know if you're really joining the guild. If you're like, I'm gonna be leaving in like a week. I'll be back as soon as I can. Please tell his highness the same. Understood. <sighs> she is you're zooming. Thank same here. You had me worried there. It's good to see you're back to your old self. Alexei. So he's the one who's been advancing Hermes Blastia technology. Yeah, it's taken a while, but everything points back to him. All right, next stop, the Shrine of Bactian. We're gonna get Estelle and Raven out of there, and show Alexei just who he's messing with. Agreed. Yeah. They're not in sync. Not in sync in the slightest. Also, repeat, your ass did not wolf. Flynn earned the Eternal Rival title. Flynn joined the party. Reunite? <laughs> it's like, what, why even bother kicking everyone out of our party for four seconds? I don't know. Welcome to the squad, Flynn. Level 39, awesome. Pay to win. Battle pass. Ass. Dude probably bought levels with his knight salary. Hey, that's our sword. You can't... I actually, no, we don't have that anymore. We have the Shadow Fang. Slightly raises agility. Damn true. Damn true, buddy. What what is it that you say you do here, Flynn? I don't know what the fuck any of this shit means, man. You cast first aid. Oh, you you just have like basic, you don't have like an AoE version. Summon a light spirit. Power of a lion. Hellfire blade. I mean, that sounds cool. What do you mean? You've used that three times, have you? I mean, I guess you were briefly in the party at one point. Why were you in the party? I don't remember. 
Because I do remember you were briefly in the party for like two seconds. And then got kicked out. Alright, I guess you can be part. Just who does that idiot commandant think he is? I didn't think you would learn Barbos, more of Keelan Rigo, stuff. Even Jaeger. Alexei was behind all of them. And now he's taken Estelle. I won't let him do this. I am gonna rip him to shreds the moment we get Estelle away from him. He must receive his due punishment. We can't let him get away. Treating Lady Esteles in that manner. Alexei is no longer the man I trusted. He's evil. That's all there is to it. And he will not change. It's time for some payback. I, mean, I don't know if I'll say he won't change, but, you know, whether or not you change doesn't mean that you shouldn't be punished, right? Your actions have to have consequences. But, like, they really introduce time travel, and then, like, nobody's like, guys, oh, it doesn't think two seconds about it. I don't know, like, that, that cutscene just had, like, too much going on. All right, we're going to Bactian. Is that this place that we've I've tried to go to like four times, and they keep saying no. Oh no, that's the forest. Is it this one? Yeah. Look over we, there. I guess we could have tried to go somewhere else, but I guess we we got our cabbage. Who wanted cabbage? What is that huge thing? It's the Heracles. Did Alexei send for it? Oh, he's zooming. That's kind of cool. A little cutscene. I guess we could have, we could have a brief cutscene with um. Uh, the Heracles got introduced. Yeah, that was, that was like an anime cutscene type thing. That's the Entelechea Astal. Do you just know all of them? Alexei is still trying to get Apathea, it seems. It looked like it got away, though. Yeah, it looked like it was forced into those ruins. Those ruins definitely appear to be the temple Bactian. I wonder what Alexei's plotting this time. <sighs> it doesn't matter what Alexei's planning to do. Right, we're just here to rescue Estelle. But if we get too close like this, we'll end up like a stall. Let's land a little bit away from it and approach on the ground. We could. Well, I was going to deliver my cabbage once I remembered, but I guess we're, we're forced into this. Alexei! I feel like I'm a Justice Hardy open because I've been here like four times. Jager, that useless worm. Can't he even swat a few pesky flies? Alexei, what have you done to Lady Esteles? I've put her in my orb. Give Estelle back! Estelle, come on, wake up! Estelle! No matter. As you can see, the princess's life will fade each time she uses her power. If you care for her, then do not interfere further. <laughs> Think you practice that? Alexei! You bastard! Is the damn Flynn Brigade? Are you okay, Captain? If they kick Flynn out of the party, Sia, I would laugh so goddamn what are you hard. Doing here? <laughs> if it's like Flynn has to stay behind to lead the troops, if he was actually only in your party for four seconds. After we left, we picked up the Heracles' movements. Please, it would be so funny if they kicked Flynn out of the party. <laughs> Prince Yoder dispatched us, saying that you could probably use our help. How 
did you guys get here so fast? We flew here on a damn whale. You had to go back, talk to Yoda, report. Maybe they expected me to go fly around with deliver my cabbage. That little prince never could mind his own damn business. Well, what about you and all that pathetic bluster and bravado? Sorry, but unlike you well-bred aristocrats, I'm not perfect. Hey, you guys all right? Wolf. Oh, uh, huh? What are they... They came to save us. Apparently Yoder told them to. Alexei's inside the temple. Let's hurry up after him. Captain, please come with us and return to His Highness's side at once. Please do it, too. It would be so funny. Sodia? It is difficult for me to say this, but this place is far too dangerous. Oh, but the peasants can go run in there. The one we most need to protect for the sake of the Empire right now is Pri- I know that. I know that, as a knight, that is what I should be doing. I know that all too well. Then- But this is something I need to do myself. For Her Highness, and for Alexei, please, let me go. But... Take us there. It must be pretty damn inconvenient to be a knight, huh? How can someone like you... How can the captain possibly consider someone like you his friend? Our captain is the ideal to which we all aspire. He's the epitome of an Imperial Knight. I mean, you only gotta insult him like that. And yet, for some reason when he's with you, he is not himself. Just like this last time. Whatever. If you're looking for someone to have a heart-to-heart -heart <laughs> with, go bug Applehead over here. Damn true. We don't have time to sit around and play guidance counselor for you. A Applehead? That's it! Sodia! No, don't! Sodia! Listen well, Yuri Lowell. Lowell. Your very existence is hurting our captain. Stay away from him. I mean, I think he's, I think the thing that's hurting him is the fact that he was serving a criminal, corrupt organization that wants to end the world, potentially. She's pretty intense. I mean, she's like a loser. All right, now we've done everything we came here to do. I gotta go back and eat applesauce and take nap time. We ask that you please take care of the captain. Platoon, fall out! We must hurry to rejoin the brigade! Yuri! Come on, we have to catch up with Flynn. Right. If she's forced to use her power, then it'll be too late to save her or fix the air. That bastard! Fix Using her air? like some kind of tool! <laughs> So, there's no reason seeing the phrase, fix the air. It just makes you think of like, oh, the damn AC's out. He's gonna pay! Come on! Parted with Flynn and Patty. Th they were actually high. They were, they were on drugs when they made this. If we don't go after Alexei, that Antilochia we saw is gonna wind up in Apatheia. Even from this far away, Astal's wounds look terrible. He might not hold out much longer. He's always looked the it same as always. It does not even the are a match for Heracles. Maybe that was Alexei's reason for building it in the first place. Naturally. There's no way he'd need something that powerful just to take care of the guilds. Whatever the case, we have to catch Alexei and stop him before it's too late for Astal. Okay. Like, why bother kicking them out? Because, I mean, presumably they're going to rejoin the party. Now, if Flynn had actually left, like, gone back to his people, to his home planet. Because, I mean, it's funny to have him leave for four Bruce seconds, was but... To send his knights to help us. To it's help not as us. funny. Don't you mean to help Flynn and his towel? Coming here is reckless enough, but sending help is even crazier. Doesn't that little prince understand his own position? That's the kind of person His Highness is. I'm sure that what's happened has caused him exceptional grief. He's probably also evil. Are you referring to Estelle? Or perhaps Alexei? <sighs> Both. Let's hurry. Hey, slow down. What are you saying? This is no time to be taking it easy. We don't have any clue where enemies could be lurking, so calm down. 
What are you talking about? They're always they're always there. You can always see them. You're right. I apologize. Yuri, you guys are much more level-headed than... Don't worry about it. We're all in this together here. Patty, are you okay? Yeah, Wolf. I'm okay. I'm extremely okay. Come on, Estelle's waiting for us. Let's hurry. Alexei made it sound like Ifrid was one of his men. It is true that the knights employ guilds on rare occasions, but... We don't know whether Ifrid worked for him, right? In any case, that conversation's on the back burner for now. Let's go. Reunite. It looks like the battle against you is over, Flynn. So when did you become aware of Alexei's rebellion? I've held doubts about the Commandant's orders for a while. After Yuri warned me in Nordopolica, I reconsidered previous events in a new light. And you understood Alexei was pulling the strings in the incidents with Barbos, Rago, and Q Moore. When I heard Lady Esteles was being held, I was certain. I only wish I had realized sooner. Even so, you unraveled his plot on your own. We still have time. We'll get Estelle back. Right. Patty, isn't it? Will you aid us in our mission to rescue Lady Esteles? Do you even need to ask? We'll put an end to Alexei's schemes. Lawful good knight ready to enlist the aid of eight-year-olds? Really makes you think. Get fucking <laughs> beamed, nerd. Get beamed! The hell is a dark bottle? Attracts enemy attention? That sounds like hell. Nah, man. Miss me with that. Lemon gel? Yeah. Just rub it all over our face as soon as we get it. The hell are you? We can do one fight. Sorry, but you're going bye bye. Flynn, what the fuck? That shit did 300 damage. Is, is the MFers over here? Oh, by the power of all the arts and the gods, unleash your wrath. Mistral Soul! 300 damage? If these motherfuckers aren't weak to wind, I'm kicking you off the party effective immediately. They have no resistances. You're done. That did 400 damage. Why do altered arts exist? Oh, he said based. <laughs> For a second. Bro, stop whatever you're doing. That shit is terrible. I don't. Because it's like a spell. But it, that could be. Because it's an altered art. I don't even know what garbage he's casting. That's over. To turn. It's like I can't even tell him to stop casting. Oh, you motherfucker, you. This game, man, this game is. It's something else. Um, nah, man. I'll always be smacking. Where is. Yeah, just, just strike him, man. I don't. I don't really give a shit about your magic. If I go into combat and he casts a fucking spell, it's over. It's over. That was your that was your first and your second strike. Battle mode activated. If you ever use that ability again. Why is our damn unicorn hitting me? God, how do I play this game? Yeah, we're done. Now you did cast a spell there. I saw that Hellfire Blade. I'm pretty sure that's a skip spell. Was it considered a spell? I mean, you didn't really cast anything, but 
I feel like it had a spell icon. It did not. Okay, you're you're cool. You're cool. That's another example of nobody play tested this shit. The first time you use Flint in combat, he casts Alexei an ability that does four Apathea. damage. I only heard that and they don't think, oh, this is a problem. If the Union gains possession of them, the guilds will be able to resist the Empire in actual war. That's why the Knights were sent to gather and watch over them. To the point of kidnapping Estelle and bringing out Hermes Blastia? Alexei has wicked plans for the Apatheia. But what exactly are those plans? Alexei is still after the Entelikeia Estal. Estal is the Entelikeia from before. Anyway, let's just rescue Estal, grab the bad guy, <laughs> Thanks, and Yuri. make him talk. <laughs> right. We should hurry. Yuri with the exposition mid-conversation. It's not even exposition, it's reposition. room look like this too all these rooms look the same i wonder if they're all like this i'm gonna go check out what's ahead repeat wolf i've heard that this kind of construction is intended to humble visitors so this must be the approach to the shrine <sighs> we don't really have time to be dawdling it's called being lost it's okay relax. it's not dawdling if you don't know where the fuck you're going As we thought, the rooms all look the same from here on out. Rapide's sense of smell doesn't seem to be working too well either. Well, to be fair, I would hope all the rooms look the same, because it's, you know, one building. It'd be kind of crazy if you were walking in and the rooms look totally different. I see. We can't afford to get lost in here. Here, use these. Let's make a map as we go. Ah, man, miss me with that. Y you're always so well prepared. Carol, can you do this? Carol! Yeah, I'm good with maps. Leave it to me. Is he? We'll be in a lot of trouble if you mess up, you know. I don't really know how I feel about Carol being a battered wife. Don't say that. Come on, everything will be fine. Probably. Okay. The truth behind the Kato seal? What the fuck is Kato's? You never did give me an explanation. Oh, the what were you okay. thinking about when you sealed off Nordopolica and the Weasand of Cottus? I was following Alexei's orders. And was using trained monsters his order too? Likely so. But being unaware of the nature of my subordinates was my error. I'm not fit for command. At least you understand your mistake. I swear that I will correct that mistake. Yeah, maybe. Always go left. I can already see the, the layout of my mind's eye. You'll never fool me. You may be saying, isn't this a dead end? Yeah, but it was a dead end with treasure that I desperately needed. It was imperative that we get that holy bottle and lemon gel that we immediately threw away, okay? trouble to me. <sighs> Alexei is rotten to the very core. Trusting him is pure folly. I understand that. His actions cannot be forgiven. But... No buts about it. This is no time for doubt. You can see Alexei clearly now, Flynn. You're right. You're more mature than I thought. Am I? First time I've ever heard that. I need to be steady myself, too. I... Plant your feet on the deck and bring down Alexei. Right. Okay, Flynn, I know you didn't mean it like that, but don't call the eight-year-old mature again, okay? I know you don't mean it like that, but that's a problematic phrase. And, you know, if we're, you're on your redemption arc, you shouldn't be going around saying stuff like that. Um, assumably there's a boss fight here. Yeah, we can go peep it. I'm glad we got a save because I was kind of thinking, I was like, oh man, we haven't had a save in a while. And if we get stuck here for. Are you thinking of what you're going to do when you meet Alexei? I'll most likely have to fight him. 
Yeah, yeah. Sounds like you've made up your mind. To be honest, I can't believe it even now. No, I think it's really that I don't want to believe it. Want some cabbage? I got plenty of it. I looked up to him for so long. I've desperately hoped that this was just some kind of mistake. Sorry, but I already know the answer to that. I know. Besides, the way he has treated Lady Esteles can't be explained away as simply a mistake. No objection there. Hey, S Sir Flynn! You can just call me Flynn. What is it? Um, Flynn, you, uh, know what Yuri's done, don't you? You mean what he did to Rago and Kumor? For the record, Kumor fell. We did not do it. All we did was fail to act. That is not a crime. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to arrest Yuri. At least, not right now. Then you mean you're going to arrest him after you bring Estelle back to the capital? Well, yeah, I mean... He did commit double murder, so... Under Imperial law, the things that Yuri has done are serious crimes. After all, he killed two of the Empire's leading figures out of a personal grudge. Hey, calling it a personal grudge is a little... A little misconstruing what was going on there, but... Serious... crimes... A personal grudge? But Yuri was... I know. Yuri certainly didn't do those things for his own sake. But that's how the law works. The corruption in the Empire is entirely irrelevant here. Are you perhaps in doubt? Confused about which way is right? I mean, I don't necessarily disagree with Flynn. Like, you know, were, did, were the killings Yuri did kind of based? Yeah. But, you know, there should be consequences for your actions. I don't know. Is what I'm feeling doubt? Or is it... Hey, what are you doing? You're gonna get left behind, you know. Ugh, sorry. My, she's scary. Let's go. <sighs> if only I had been near Lady Esteli so that I could defend her. That wasn't in the cards. She chose to travel with us. I guess you're right. I'll take the heat for this. That's not what I meant. I'm in no position to blame you. And your position is just fine. Maybe so. <sighs> is it just me? Or is it harder to breathe here than on the sea floor? No. There's something going on between Yuri and Flynn. Yep. Damn true, Mr. Blamp. Just gonna, just gonna sneak right by you. Are there any treasure chests on the margins? Probably a chest back up on the damn right room there, but... Well, it's not my place to go get it. That, ch that chest is for another. Can I do anything about it? I mean, my, our thing just went straight through it. Don't mind me. Did this thing turn off? It did turn off once we left. Now, is it like a timer? Guys. Together now. Wait, you've had that move for a thousand years. What the fuck are you talking about? New ability. Stay cautious. Oh my god, I'm getting stun locked. No, I don't. Oh god, I'm getting the fucking PTSD from the start of the game, man. Bro, there's so damn many. Oh no, don't 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 say that, okay? That's my that's my trigger phrase. Based. Oh my god. Just do the damn burst start. I'm just always getting interrupted. You can't win. Demonic chaos. Hey Flynn, do you think maybe you're the bad guy? There's so gosh dang many. Why are you still alive? I murdered you. What the hell is fancy elements? 
You're so lucky. But that has the longest. What? Are they like spawning in? Like, how are you not dead? How much HP do you have? Zero. Apparently. That will suffice. Losing my damn mind. Apparently, I don't have the ingredients to make cake. All right, what is what is this ability you're doing that doesn't seem like it's doing? What is it? What does it do? Fancy elements. Aid an elemental. Add an elemental to an ally. Decided at random. Yeah, nah, lady. You need a frying pan. Okay? You were put on this planet to frying pan. And you, I don't know, you can keep all your stuff for now. I don't really know what's good and what's not. Okay, I guess the side is just here. The little... Exit. It being triangle to use a use the spell is never not going to get me, man. What the what is the point of that? I do not know. Eight thousand gold. We probably should call it relatively soon though. A barrier. A damn old barrier. Where the hell's the dang old holy bottle? Because it seems like they turn off once I leave, so... I don't... Yeah, because they turn off... But like, do they stay on once I... Go over here and hit this bad boy that does noth nothing. I mean, I'm getting I'm getting no feedback here on what the hell that's supposed to do. Wind cape. Anybody want a wind cape? Maybe maybe we'll give it to you. Because presumably, if we just got a wind cape, the boss must use wind attacks, right? No, it's actually a trap. It's it's, it's here to trick you. What is this a statue of? I don't know, snake lady. With that kind of shape, I can't tell whether it's supposed to be a human or a monster. This is a temple, after all. This is probably a statue of whatever deity the temple was dedicated to. You know, it might just be a statue of the Entelikea we saw outside. I don't know, maybe. Huh? It couldn't be. I mean, a monster, that is. It's a... But they don't even look alike. Yeah, because then the other one have like a bunch of wings? No, I think it's possible. The Entelikea have powers beyond those of humans and can speak in our language. It's not strange to think that humans would have worshipped them in ancient times. Yeah, but what about the fact they don't look the same? The relationship I guess between they do the Antelikea and humans might be closer than we thought. Maybe they used to look like this. Maybe they drifted apart during the long, long passage of time, eventually leading to the situation we find ourselves in now. If that's the case, I wonder just how much we've forgotten. I'm sure there are things in this world that should never be forgotten. Patty? I, I think that I prefer the distance we have now to the cozy relationship we had back then. <laughs> Into Lakea. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Alright, well that's a good place to go ahead and call it here. Next time we will continue looking for Esteles with the aid of our good buddy and pal Mr. Flynn. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Flynn? Oh, is this how you put the thingies on? Anybody want a veil? Damn true, buddy. Damn true. Oh, 
popular and highly skilled. He works tirelessly under his eternal rival. They want the same thing, but they butt heads on how to get it. Will they ever see eye to eye? I don't know, maybe. Man the lookout, all clear to port bow. Gold Hunter. Yep. What about Pissing Champion? <laughs> Whole damn squad's veiled out, man. Oh, it changes colors. Let's go. Camera, okay, I'm gonna take that off. You, do you wanna? Actually, it doesn't look terrible on Rita, since it changes colors, but... <laughs> and then, Rapide looks like he's, you know... Like the, like the old-timey dude, with the cap and, like, the sleeping cap, on honk shoo 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 me. You know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. With, like, the big, big-ass candle walking around. Alrighty. I'm ExtraCheesy87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.